2016 two Tulsa City police officers pulled me over and said, you fit the description of someone that broke out of string alone institution. I asked them, what are y'all talking about? Then they asked me if I was from around New Orleans. I replied, yeah, why what the fuck is it to you? They then reply to me, string the fuck alone. A couple of days later I went to Quick Trip to get some water. I asked the clerk for a water cup, and he gave it to me. The fountain machine had out of order on one of the two water sprouts, and the two ice makers. I took a big gulp and the water tasted like salt, and a very distinctive taste from my past that I recognize immediately. In the year 2000 at a cash money concert at the House of Blues in New Orleans this chick I knew used to work out and she drank this chemical called GHB as a workout regimen. She gave me a bottle cap full and it knocked me out. After drinking the water at Quick Trip I looked at the camera and asked, GHB seriously? Then, I looked back, and... The maintenance man that drives around in the work truck... He unscrewed a little CO2 bottle, then bleated the lines, and took the out-of-order stickers off the fountain drink machine, then left. Long story short, Hillcrest Hospital in Tulsa, Oklahoma's security guards attacked me, then the Tulsa City Police took me to a mental ward. Family and Children's Services diagnosed me paranoid schizophrenic. They said that I was thinking that police were following me around and beating me up. A few years later, St. John's Hospital re-diagnosed me PTSD and said that police were indeed beating me up. Well, when Family and Children's Services got my new diagnosis, they made me a fake Medicaid account. With a fake birthday, EMSA Ambulance Services and Hillcrest Hospital treated me under that fake birthday with that fake Medicaid account and erased all my prior history that they had of me.